And there you have, you've contacted the walls. So you've reached the end of the room. Started yeah. in 1918, the Canadian yeah. National Institute of the Blind is one of Canada's oldest charities. Originally established to remove blind citizens from a life of poverty, the CNIB has now grown to offer a wide range of assistance. Uh, our core rehabilitation services deal with um, low vision assessment, uh, independent living skills, orientation mobility training, assistive technology, as well as other things like peer support and counselling. With three different types of canes, CNIB assists people in finding the proper tools to address their specific needs. The identification cane used to assist with depth perception and often can be folded to assist with transportation. And then the support cane is commonly used by seniors due to its physical assistance capabilities. And then there's the long cane. Today we have a blindfold to use um, and this, if you wouldn't mind placing it on, and this can simulate what it would be like to be blind and I can show you how you would use the white cane. Hold your hand out like you're going to shake my hand and I would place the cane in your hand with your index finger extended down the flat part and the cane stretching out in front of you. So it will remain in contact with the ground and the purpose is, is that you'll be sweeping it left to right as you move forward to clear, to clear your path as you walk. I can't touch anything. It's interesting how your, your heart, my, my heart's beating faster. The CNIB provides lessons for very different vision loss situations, ranging from how to pick and use the appropriate white cane to independent living skills. This is incredible. It, it, it blocks out everything. You, you, you can't even see like anything on the side or any mm -hmm. little bit of light. What do you think is the benefit of other people having the opportunity to do something like this? Well, I think just to create awareness that you know, vision loss is significant, and then to create awareness that there are these tools and our services here at CNIB. CNIB also offers guided courses to family, colleagues, and friends. So Jamie, now you're gonna go through with me on how, what it would be like with a sighted guide, right? That's right. So pop this back on. So this would be for someone that doesn't have a cane. That's right. And again, it's just another means um, of travel for somebody who is blind. So the most important thing about offering Sighted Guide is just always introducing yourself. So saying who you are, my name is Jamie, and then of course offering that assistance. So we're not assuming that you need a guide, but I'm going to ask you, can I give you some assistance? With the human guide remaining in front, this allows for the guide to come in contact with any obstacles first. Yeah, you, should, you must have to have a good relationship with the person. It's a relationship based on trust, I bet. It does take trust. With three quarters of their clients being seniors and the greater population living longer, it's imperative that we protect our eyes. This includes regular annual checkups and wearing appropriate eye protection, such as sunglasses and safety goggles. I think just to overall get people to understand and appreciate their eyes and how important their vision is to them, it stands to reason that, you know, vision loss is going to touch our, our moms, our dads, or our grandparents, or whatever. And so I think it's important for people to understand what they can do to prevent, you know, vision loss and what they can do to maintain good vision health. Here at CNIB, one can purchase a wide variety of tools and sign up for a multitude of services that can make life more comfortable for those experiencing different levels of vision loss. For Go Edmonton, I'm Bianca Jade.